you know, I, whatever he said recently, you know, um, you know, it, it's it's whatever. It's Twitter talk. You know, mm -hmm. I can do my research. Although there yeah, might yeah, be, a, I'll, I'll, there I'll might be you. a few interviews. Okay, tell me what. Yeah, what yeah, because uh, usually Terrence doesn't tweet too much, but uh, I found these kind of like, interesting. Like, oh, I wonder why he he's saying these things. Uh, first tweet was my uh, my my how the tables have turned. Danny Swift, you and Keith Thurman will never, and I mean never, ever get a shot at the top dog, and that's me. Y'all ho asses. <laughs> funny that i'm saying that uh y'all ho asses didn't want no smoke when i wanted to fight remember now y'all want to fight so bad go keep fighting each other like before it's funny how all these fighters want to fight now but back then all they could say was i haven't fought nobody now they're begging looking for a check can't make this shit up uh all these fighters that was claiming to be their their own bosses were behind are hiding behind the term call out now they're talking like they can fight whoever they want boy y'all some pawns go sit down uh, I believe he added a little bit more, but that's that's pretty much. Uh, no, no, there's more. Did me dirty. Had all these people that don't know anything about boxing trying to discredit my accomplishments. He haven't fought nobody. Lies, but no one wanted to be that so-called somebody though. They say the cream always rises to the top, and it looks like I'm the last man standing. I know y'all mad about it, but it's not my plan. This is God's plan. Yeah, man. Ain't mad about it, bro. Uh, I don't know if Danny said anything to spark that. Uh, I don't know, you know. Uh, there's a few things. One, uh, you didn't you didn't beat up a champion, bro. Uh, I don't think that Errol Spence would beat Sean Porter. Okay. Uh, God bless you, kid. You're blessed. Um, everybody knows in boxing that, it, that it's timing. You know, I don't I don't really like to talk really down on fighters. Uh, and, and take away, you know, I, I hate, I hate people who just treat people like, oh, this guy's washed up now, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of stuff being said about me and my career, you know, but um, there's an old saying that Ben Getty used to talk about. And I never, I never got to witness it too much in my boxing career. Uh, but the old saying is, you know, one day you got it. And the next day you don't, you know, and he, this is just for athletes in general. This happens. It's it's one of those phenomena that occur in sports, not just boxing, but sports. OK, and I haven't really witnessed it much in my career, but for the first time ever, uh, when Errol Spence did his last performance, I think we all saw it, man. What you are today is not the fighter that you were yesterday. I mean, it's, and it's, it's, I don't think it's his fault. You know, I think, I think injuries and in life caught up to the kid. You know, I don't really think it's his fault. Um, it just happens like that. Ben Getty told me this stuff growing up, man. One day you got it. One day you don't. And he used to tell me this story with some of his fighters where he would tell them like, Hey, I'm not, I'm not working your next corner. Like, he would see something and he knows like, hey, man, you I recommend you're done, you know, but of course they're not done. They go change camps. They make some fights happen and they just get beat up a few times before they hang up the gloves and they just get used as an opponent. And their 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 real career is over. You know, say what you want about Keith Thurman. Y'all can say what you want, but a lot of real ones know Thurman versus that Spence. Same scenario, bro. How do you get out of the sixth round? When you got somebody who's who who wants to prove themselves, somebody who is looking forward to the biggest pay-per-view fight of their, you know, of their career, which Crawford did, which is what I tip his hat off to. I tip his hat off to the fact that he stayed consistent. But there's two things about you talking about me, bud. Okay. There's two things. Thing number one. The year that they wanted me to fight you was the year that I was supposed to fight Pacquiao and everybody knew why I didn't fight you, okay, on your end. If they didn't relay the message, they said, look, we're not mad at you. I mean, look, we're offering you this much for Crawford. They're offering you that much for Pacquiao. I mean, the fact that you're going to take Pacquiao, it is it is what it is, right? Now, after, after the, uh, the Barrios fight, I was all ready to fight you. You're the one who just doesn't want somebody to have a tune-up, shake off the dust, keep these 
keep everything moving. You a stay busy fighter, kid. What do you got? 40 wins? What do you I got 10 less fights than you, homie? We come from the same Olympic year, bro. So I just, you know, I could have fought you any day of the week after February last year, bro. We could have fought in July, August, September, October, period. And you did fight in October. You did fight in October. You fought some nobody that we didn't care about, bro. So look, man, I'm not mad at him, you know. If there's anything, I'm not mad at him. Have things been political when he was over there with Bob? Yeah. Are you king of the hill now? Yeah. You know, do you deserve it? Yeah. Do I still think you just beat up almost nobody? You know, you didn't beat up a real champion, kid. You know, everybody knows you put Thurman in the ring on that same night. Thurman wiped Spence. That Spence? That arrow? gets wiped by many people, okay? And then you put me in there with you, kid, on that same night in Vegas, bro? It ain't the same fight, man. That's what I was telling you the, the next morning, bro. You already know. I know you know. I know people that see you to your face. I've heard you put talk respect. I Man, we got interviews with you on ESPN saying Keith Thurman is a tougher fight than Errol Spence Jr., man. Do what you want with your career. You ain't ever going to fight me. That's fine. Spence never really wanted it. You don't ever really, really want it. That's fine, man. You know, this ain't Leonard Hearns, I guess. We ain't in that real generation where everybody who's really bout it is bout it anymore, okay? It's fine, bro. Cash your check. Be king of, of Omaha, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm so... Blessed to witness greatness out of our generation, period. I live this life, I walk this life. You live this life, you walk this life. And I'm proud of you, kid. I'm proud of you. That's the thing that my meditation does. I don't hold resentment in my heart no more. I ain't hating on y'all niggas no more. Ain't nothing to hate, man. I got love for you, kid. I got love for you. I got gratitude. I'm grateful for everything, for living this life, man. You don't know You don't know how many people, man, they're here today, gone tomorrow. Not just in the fight game, man, but in life, baby. I lost a real one. I, lo I lost a real one just a few weeks ago. They just hosted his funeral, bro. And what you don't understand is I wanted to call him three weeks before he passed away. But what I said, I said, nah, man, homeboy's busy. I treat him like the celebrity that he is, you know. I treated him like the celebrity that he is. Oh, he's probably got stuff going on in life. He's busy. Now I can't hear that man's voice, man. Life is too short to hate on y'all, man. Be good, though. Be good. Be be power, Be power. your powerhouse. Do what you want to do with your career, man. You're in a very, very blessed situation. Do what you want to do with your career. You know what I'm saying? Go, at, go after uh, Canelo. Make, make history. Be big. You know, don't 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 fight the Dannys. Don't fight Thurman's, you know, whatever, kid. You know, I'm I'm still an active fighter. I love looking for the best fights. And it ain't my fault you the best fight out there. Shoot, it's your fault. <laughs> you know, but like I said, man, there, there was some political stuff back when you were with Bob. You're not with Bob no more. You've now fought two PBC fighters, bro. But you still ain't seen the one that just is the dog, bro. The, everyone else, everybody else on their side end of their career, man. What you call it? Uh, Porter fought you, kid. Porter fought you and then instantly announced his retirement, bro. Like, you don't go into a fight knowing you, I don't win, win this fight. Like, come on, man. That's that. The fight was already over, bro. You ask somebody like me, the fight was already over. Nobody's a live dog like Thurman. In these later years, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, I'm going to be the only one that as I get older, y'all going to say, is he still in his prime? Why does that boy fight like he's in his prime? I, I, just, want, I just want it. I want it on a level that, you know, 
that I've always wanted it, man. So that's all I really got to say for today's comments on Crawford, you know. But I, you can just back check his old interviews, bro. You always put respect on my name, kid, you know. And I said that you didn't really, you know, you, you didn't have an opportunity to fight great 147 fighters. The way you beat Sean, you stopped Sean. Thurman never stopped Sean. Spence dropped Sean, didn't stop Sean, you know. Was Sean already given up in the fight before camp, whatever his mental state was in? But he still gave you a good fight. So that's that's past, that's like after the fact. If I just assess the fight, you had a great performance, my man. You know, the way the way you just dominated Spence, even though he didn't look like he had one title, let alone three titles. But the way that you dominated Spence, you know, my favorite punch was that was that uppercut that you dropped him with. That was my favorite punch of the whole fight. Because that was that's that's where I gave you your new nickname, Crafty Crawford. All right. I gave that to you when you beat Porter, but you showed it to me with that uppercut when you beat Spence. And then you just played the fundamentals, man, stuck them with the jab. I haven't seen a jab land that many times since my mentor, Winky Wright, okay? When Winky Wright beat Tito Trinidad, he made Trinidad look like a bobblehead. He was beating Spence up with the jab. Jab, double jab, jab it to jab it jab. Jab it to jab it jab, bam, bam. You know, I mean, basics, fundamentals, solid, ruthless, in shape. There was a lot of great things I saw that night. But like I said, man, it, it is what it is, man. You, you you know, your legacy is your legacy, kid. It's already done. You made it. You did it. Hall of Famer. You know what I mean? So that's why it is up to you, kid. It's up to you. There's a few other things. I'm going to have to see what I'm going to do. But this is this is what people kind of forgot, man. They everybody can say whatever they want politically. This is that Yaze Yaze. Who's Thurman? Who is Thurman? Bro, people, people in the industry really know. I was avoided before I ever had a title. Now I don't have a title. I'm avoided again. I'm a threat. I'm the toughest fight that anybody can have at 147. I'm the fighter that said, I gotta, oh, I'm not afraid to let it go. And if you can beat me, beat me. And like I told everybody after that fight, when when I said that you defeated Spence, he Thurman ain't never been defeated. I fought Manny Pacquiao one-handed. I don't, man, don't make me call my doctor and show y'all the dates of when I first went into his office and was advised to have hand surgery before 2019. And I fought two fights in 2019, then had my hand surgery. So like it's it's whatever, man. But we we know the life that we live as fighters, man. This is a this is a different life. This is a different topic. Being in the fight game, going toe to toe, blow for blow. You know, I'm 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 34. I'm not 24, man. I'm a father now. My ego has shifted, but the warrior in me is always about it. You know, I don't gotta prove nothing because I know you know. I know you know. You used to talk about it, you know? So it is what it is, bud, you know? Shout out Omaha, you know? King of Omaha, it is what it is, bud. Say whatever you want to say. Go do a few more podcasts. Go get this easy check. Go get this Go get this easy check real quick. I ain't mad at you, kid. They. He, he, wants to, he wants to smoke. He wants to get slapped up. He wants the money too. You know what I'm saying? There's so many different ways to get blessings in life. You know what I mean? So you got to you got to take your blessings when you can get them. You know, and if you want to do other things with your career, that's on you, man. I ain't never going to be mad at you, man. I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of Danny. I'm proud of Mikey. I'm proud of Errol. I'm proud of Sean. I'm proud of the Bronze Bomber. I'm proud of uh, uh, the Russell family. OK, I'm proud of everyone I ever met in this sport that lives this life and has done something and made a name out of something. Because I remember you, kid. I remember when you was a kid, just like me. And this right here, this red, white and blue, this life we live was nothing but a dream. I remember them days. I remember them days. And that's why I'm different. That's why I'm different, because I'll never forget. 
And I'll always put my blood, sweat, and tears into this beautiful, aggressive, lovely sport that we call boxing, baby. Tweet whatever you want, homie.